You see this tattoo on the helo? This is the tattoo of the Royal Bengal Tiger from Bangladesh, which is almost close to getting vanished. Lyle had an Ophia tattoo on his arm, but his behavior doesn't say the same thing about him, unlike Miles not having a single ounce of fear even the moment before his death. The kids were so bright, eager to learn. Picked up English faster than I could teach it. The Navi kids commanded over English faster because they have more neural synaptic connections in their brain than a normal human being. This one looks more like a geography book. Maybe Dr. Augustine was teaching about the geography of Pandora to the Navi people, and it really makes sense considering the fact that these people don't have satellite images of their own planet unlike the humans do. This is a children's book and it's written by Dr. Seuss, which you can easily find on Amazon. You see these small creatures? These are baby ecrans. Jake had almost 18 seconds to walk away from that animal. Why did he not take that opportunity? It was worth a try, right? This fungi looking like a mushroom didn't shrink at all because it never came in touch with Jake Sully. Jake Sully jumped into water in a straight posture for avoiding physical damage. Most of you should not need that clarification though. The secrecies of the Ewa tree always come up with a message. This time, they came to stop Neteri from killing Jake Sully, their future savior and the one who will get to spread her legs. I mean, yeah. The glowing eyes of those animals can also be seen in the animals on Earth. Even the Navi people have this feature in Pandora because they are also one kind of animal but with a kinder heart and more sanity than most human beings. Just imagine you see someone like this on your first date, mesmerizing. These animals also have Fitligo just like here on Earth. What the fuck? Hey, wait, don't! Natiri got rid of the flame immediately and she was not even looking at it. What does it mean? There can be two possibilities behind that. She was thinking that the other animals will get frightened if they get to see the fire. She was concerned that the forest could catch fire in case the fire was not absolved immediately. How the hell on earth does everything glow during the night time on Pandora? Many of the plants and animals in Pandora are bioluminescent, which means they eliminate themselves through chemical reactions within their bodies. You can also find the same thing in Earth's oceans as well as some creatures like the fireflies and jellyfish. Fucking amazing, right? When Nateri was blessing the dog in the name of Ewa, you can see her eyes getting teary, meaning she also felt very bad for killing the animal. This is sad. Very sad only. The secrecies of Ewa landed on Sully because they can sense pure energy from a good-hearted person. She came once to save Sully and this time to invite him to the Navi community. Only the people with the purest heart get to light by the sacred seeds. Otherwise, Sully would stand no chance over there all alone in the woods for the night. Did you also realize that Ewa saved the life of Jake Sully at first and Jake Sully saved the life of Ewa in the end of the movie? This was a very nice payback. That skinny guy Sute broke the bond with his horse with utter negligence unlike Nithiri and Jake who always break the bond with care and love in their heart. This really shows how much toxic this guy used to be in the past. When Jake was entering the home tree, where the hell was she looking at? She was testing the blood of Sully to see if the energy from his blood connects with the spiritual energy of Ewa or not. In short, whether he has a good spirit or not. Because she is the Sahik who has the ability to interpret the will of Ewa. If you look closely, her nose and eyes got down while tasting the blood. She felt the vibration of pure energy from Jake's blood, just like you also feel while doing coke. I mean, yeah. A warrior of the Jarhead clan. Sam Siupak? Why did the husband of Sahik decide to keep Sully after hearing that she was a warrior or not? That's because he was a warrior himself and his grandparents as well who led the clans to peace and prosperity in the past. So every Navi person had a special respect in their heart for a warrior. They believe that a warrior is supposed to become a savior which is true. My grandfather's grandfather was Turuk Makto. Turuk Makto was mighty. He brought the clans together in a time of great sorrow. Did you see these three monkey boys climbing up there? The one to the right side? Was he trying to do the impossible with the tree? What was he trying to take out of his ass? Did he notice that thing? When everyone was watching Sully, these four Navi people in the back were minding their own business, showing no interest in who that newcomer was. This is called the true Sigma. When everyone else was laughing at what Jake was saying, Nam didn't smile at all. Why? Was that because he was feeling jealous that Jake managed to become a member of the Omatikaya family in one chance where Nam achieved nothing even after having three years of training? Or was that because he was still traumatized to see what happened yesterday, which was also his first time exploration in Pandora? A warrior of the Jarhead clan. The Jarhead clan was just a lie. Jake teasingly used to see if it really works or not. Need proof? Here we go. Jarhead clan? 
and it worked. On the fridge, you will find three pictures of Natiri and one picture of the curious girl you have seen in the past. It is also possible that she may have a twin, because when I first saw the movie, I confused Natiri with a lot of men and women out there. I mean, they almost look the same, like the Chinese Ching Chong. Holy shit. Do not look in her eyes. Why was Sully forbidden to look into the eyes of the Ikran? This is a sign of showing respect to the Ikrans. According to the Navi culture, Ikran is more like a soulmate with whom you ride forever, and you only look into the eyes of an Ikran after you choose one to make a bond with. So, looking into the eyes of an Ikran without the purpose of making a bond is very disrespectful. It's like trying to have sex with a woman without the intention to get married. Ikran is not horse. Like what the fuck, Jake doesn't know what a horse looks like? You look closely and you will find Natiri was wearing one kind of sunglass to protect her eyes. You can also see the reflection on it. That is very impressive. Let me show you a couple more scenes like that. The branches of the trees had amazing textures like stones. But there might be stones in Rio? Grace went to see the same people we saw in the past in the photos on the fridge. Her old students. When she was caressing the head of Jake Sully, Jake moved away his head in a heartbeat because he is a private person who doesn't like to be touchy-feely with everyone else. Don't. Got this. The Ikran of Natiri screamed exactly when she detached her bond with it. Pretty impressive detail. The roots of the voice tree are also energy sensitive. They always try to come closer to Natiri and Jake whenever they raise their hands towards the roots. Why Jake Sully was expressing his feelings of pleasure at first and then Natiri. Maybe this is the first time Jake Sully bonded with the Navi. So, the feeling was new to him. In case you're wondering, this kind of physical bond using cues is performed not only for having sex but also for understanding someone close to you, including even your family members. So, it might not be a new feeling for Natiri. On exactly what was Norm exercising when Jake Sully disconnected himself from the link? Jake's f***ing wheelchair. Jake Sully swapped his own dress twice in the movie. Also, Dr. Grace swapped the dress of her avatar twice in the movie. Coincident? If you look closely, the psychic in the background was using her both hands to gesture everyone to calm down. She rolled her both eyes when Connor Miles broke the link with the avatar. The same thing also happened with Jake. Now why did it happen? When a person dies, the muscles in their body as well as the ones that control the eye movements begin to relax. This situation can cause the eyes of the person rolling back and this is a natural process of the body. The same thing can also happen when someone is losing consciousness, but it majorly happens during deaths. Each tree has 10 to the 4th connections to the trees around it. And there are 10 to the 12th trees. There are 100 billion neurons in the human brain. Each neuron can create almost 10,000 synaptic connections. So, a human brain can create almost 100 trillion synaptic connections. On the other hand, there are 10 to the power 12, meaning 1 trillion trees in Pandora, and each tree can have 10 to the power 4, meaning 10,000 synaptic connections, which means all the trees in Pandora can create almost 10 quadrillion synaptic connections throughout the moon. A big fucking network which is 10 times more than what a human brain has. It means that the planet itself has a collective consciousness or intelligence that surpasses human understanding. This really works as a proof that everything is interconnected in Pandora, every living element, just like it is said in the Bible and Gita that God has his presence all around us. Fucking amazing. It's more connections than the human brain. Get it? It's a network. There goes our Jason Statham on budget. And people are sitting on shit that you want and making your enemies. And then you're justified in taking it. This man just described the dictatorship rule of the USA, China, UK and other powerful countries. This is how a dictatorship works. In order to run your dictatorship in a place, you must have to be friendly with them at first. You have to try to purchase them and use them as your puppet to get what you want. If your victim becomes rebellious, you get your hands dirty to harm them for getting a response. When they fall into that trap, you take that response as an excuse to get what you want. For your further clarity, I would love to show you a couple of examples. The dictators from the United Kingdom came to India disguised as businessmen in the 17th century and they started giving India taxes for conducting their businesses. When the politicians realized that these British people are slowly getting into politics to colonize India, they started reveling against the dictators and finally the British colonizers decided to use some traitors to take over their political hierarchy, blaming the rebels as thugs and fabricated many wars against the rebels to get what they wanted. When the US realized that the Iraqi president Saddam Hussein can be useful for them to purchase oil, they gave him all the facilities including money, weapons, technology in order to sustain his government. When Saddam Hussein was no more useful as a puppet, the US government 
came up with the idea of destroying Iraq in the name of weapons of mass destruction, villainizing Saddam Hussein. And guess what? They sucked the hell out of the country from 2003 to 2011 in the name of their so-called peacekeeping mission to fabricate the invasion. By the way, Saddam Hussein was not a saint either. The RDA also offered the Navi people houses and other things. As soon as they refused to get those facilities, RDA destroyed a biological data hub on purpose to trigger a rebellious response from the Navi people. When the Navi decided to hit back, RDA also decided to use this response as an excuse to villainize them, wage a war against them, and excavate all the unobtainium they have under the ground at the cost of their lives.